Whenever I'm struggling, and I have been struggling this week, um, I've actually found that art can bring comfort to me. And I want to share a piece of art with you, and hopefully you'll like it, and it'll, it'll be useful. This piece of art is called the Harlequin's Carnival, and it was by a Spanish painter named Miro. Um, it is an example of surrealism, and that's how the world feels to me right now as well. <laughs> a lot of chaos. Um, surrealists were looking at the subconscious mind and trying to make sense of all the illogical thoughts that were running through our minds. Um, in this one, I like it because it focuses on this little guy, the Harlequin, right here. And a Harlequin from literature and history is a figure that's both comedic and tragic. It's a servant, so I can relate to that idea. And this little guy here has a hole right in his middle. So there's like an emptiness. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, I like that there's a little friend here rolling on the dice, the chance of life, trying to fill that hole, trying to help him out. Um, and then there's other things to look at here in this scene. So things like the ladder, right? There's a ladder kind of going all the way up here. Maybe there's a way out of all this chaos and there's a helping hand maybe to hold that ladder. Maybe I'm an optimist. I don't know, but I look at it. The whole world is represented right here. The whole world is inside of this scene or inside of this person's head, right? So this could be our interior minds um, as well as just a physical thing. And I like that there's a window over here. And so if we look out the window, there's peace and beauty and hope and that's what I like also. So I like using art to help myself focus. It's a distraction, but it also helps me feel like people across different times and places have struggled with much of the same thing. And so I find comfort in this. Um, I've used it with students when I was teaching high school English. Um, and maybe this one's useful for you too.